That one, movies are expected to be bankable. Joining us now in Los Angeles, Alex Kosekis for this week's Hollywood Stock Exchange. Alex, uh, what are the traders uh, saying this week about the movies coming out? Well, good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, good beer. Uh, well, first of all, I mean, this weekend has three very interesting films and three films that really cross all demographics. I mean, if you think about it, in Hollywood, we always look at the audience in terms of the audience demographic profile. You got one movie coming out, 10,000 B.C. This is an action film. I mean, this is a film from Roland Emmerich, who's brought us Independence Day, Day After Tomorrow, and started his career really with Stargate. I mean, this film is going to pro uh, has broad appeal. It's really, really anticipated because we've had three to four weeks of box office year on year down. And so we're looking for a big, big hit with this one, about 38 to 42 million as far as an opening is concerned. And, you know, it's, it's a prehistoric setting in a prehistoric setting. It's full of a lot of action and a lot of good, good special effects. All right, we're showing, of course, the, the chart from your exchange, but on the regular exchanges, uh, this is a Time Warner, obviously. This is a Warner Brothers picture. Uh, are they in That's need right. of a hit this weekend, do you think? Well, I mean, you know, it would certainly help. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I mean, as far as the entire industry, as, uh, you know, again, comparing it to last year, everything is pretty much down. So this would definitely help Time Warner. All right, really good reviews about the bank job. British film, you know, doesn't look mm -hmm. real high budget, but it's gotten the reviews. Are your traders uh, saying it's going to make some money? Okay, this is an interesting one as well. I mean, going back to that demographic thing that I started off with, I mean, this is an R-rated film, and it's, you know, it's got a little bit more drama going into it, and so it's going to appeal to a slightly older audience. It's a, based on a true story of a heist that happened back in London about 20 years ago or so uh, with a lot of intrigue. I mean, these guys, it's starring a guy named Jason Statham, who's done very well as far as action films are concerned. And, um, and so these guys are going to bust into a bank with the intent of getting money, but they actually find out a lot of different secrets about what's happening in London high society. And so there's a lot of intrigue with this movie. Uh, traders are thinking it's going to come in at about $7.5 for the weekend or so. It is a low-budget film. It's from Lionsgate. They do a great marketing job. And so this sh film should probably come in fourth or so for the weekend. All right. And finally, Walt Disney at it again. They've got another a movie coming out this weekend. This one is, uh, I think it's the road trip, college road trip, excuse me. So what do, you, what do we right. think is going to happen with this one? Okay, now Cheryl, let's go back to that demographic thing again. This is very interesting. It's a Martin Lawrence film. Uh, it has an appeal to an urban audience. It's a Disney film. Raven Simone is playing his counter in it. And of course, she is known from her Disney, uh, her TV? past Disney work. Yeah. In the, the TV, TV show, show right? right? That, yeah. That's right. That's so Raven. Uh, the thing about this film is that it's rated G. Now, it's very rare for the MPAA to assign a G rating to a live action film versus an animated picture. And so it's about a father who takes his daughter out to look at colleges, to examine colleges for her to attend. And so when you think about that college road trip and G rating, it's kind of odd. But HSX traders are saying the film's going to do well. Uh, it's actually at its all-time high on the exchange right now, and they're thinking it's going to come in at about $17 million, uh, for the weekend, right. which will bring it into number two. All right. We shall see. Alex Kostakis in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alex.